work, I'm just feeling challenged with um, experiencing my emotions at, at work, work and how much, yeah, like do I let myself cry when I'm massaging somebody? <laughs> yeah. Um, because of the type of work you do, it's probably easier than other types of work. I, I would let myself cry if, yeah, if I was massaging somebody and all of a sudden I felt an emotion that was resonant with their emotion or whatever and I'd just let myself cry. Now, you'll probably have to explain to your clients before you begin. <laughs> <laughs> that you, you really believe in emotions and just be open with everyone. I really believe in emotions. What did you say, Tris, when you started work? Uh, I said that I'm dealing with trying to deal with all my emotions and anything that will upset me will be my own emotion. So yeah. they really can't do anything to me. Yeah. And Tristan explained to them that he wanted to feel his emotions even when he was at work. He got the job. Yeah. 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 Away. And it doesn't mean they're going to let him do it either. <laughs> yeah. There is such a word as ethics. Sorry. Ethical behaviour. Yep. What's the ethical behaviour? Your emotions. If you have emotions that really are not appropriate. But remember what I said. Here's here's me. Here's the emotion flowing through me. As soon as I stop the emotion flowing through me, what's going to happen? It's just going to go out. What's more ethical? No, that's not ethical. That's throwing it out right at that moment. It's not ethical. You'll need to change your def definitions of ethical if you want to deal with your emotions. I'm just being blunt, but it's true. We need to come to see everything how God sees it. Do you understand that? How does God see your emotions? As precious. It is you. It's your soul. He views your emotions as precious. When you're at one with God, what will you view your emotions as? Precious. They are precious. You want to feel them right now. You won't, no, won't want to put them off. right? And you can take on man's definition of ethics or man's definition of love or man's definition. But if you take on that, what are you going to get? What we've got right now. Do you want that still? No. Well, then you'll need to change and do it God's way if you want. Now, you don't have to. I'm not saying you have to. You can keep doing it self-reliant way if you want. Remember? I said there's a difference between self-reliance you can keep doing that if you want. It's your choice. I'm not saying you don't have to do that. I'm saying you can. You're allowed to. You've got free will. AJ, how do spirits do it in the spirit world? Like, say someone passes, like you were telling me about my dad, who's not in a very good place at the moment when he passed. Yeah. Does he get help by others, or does he have to come to it himself, or how does he do he, it? He will only be helped if he wants help. Right. So the first step is to ask, is it? Yeah. Or to have a desire... To, it always gets down to desire. A desire to progress? Is that, is that what he... What does he desire? Uh, he needs to have a pure desire to deal with his own crap, shall we say. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It is a very good book, I think I mentioned last week, Post-Mortem Journal. <laughs> Post-Mortem Journal. If you can get a copy of it, it's a very rare book and it's not published anymore. And if you can get a copy of it, get a copy of it. If anyone wants to type up a copy of it, I've got a copy, <laughs> and we can give it to everyone. How many places? I don't know. I think it's a couple hundred, but, or a hundred or so. Right. Written by Jane Sherwood. It's a copy. It's a description of uh, Lawrence of Arabia's passing, and in it, he deals only with emotions. And it's a really, really good book because it focuses on the importance of dealing with emotions even when you're in the spirit world and also focuses on what happens energetically when a person refuses to deal with their emotions. Whenever, t whenever um, what was his name? T. Lawrence, was it? Lawrence yeah. Yeah. Whenever he decided to not deal with his emotions, he projected these emotions at his teacher and the teacher instantly left. And he didn't come back again until he owned his emotions. Can I type that up? Sure, I'll, I'll bring it next time when we come down. Yeah, yeah. That'd be great. <coughs> there is a website you can go to that deals in out of print books. Yeah, that's where I got this book yeah. from. But but it's like, I don't think I'd have a hundred of them. No. <laughs> um, it's a fantastic book because it outlines, even in the spirit world, what's happening with regard to emotional processing. Yeah.
and the explanations that he received about his emotions. We could do it as a Word document and then email to everybody. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I'll do the list of it's an awesome book. It's really worth reading. Really worth reading. Whenever you do that, whenever you block your emotion, you are instantly projecting it. You are instantly at that moment damaging everything around you. If you want to choose that, you can. You're allowed to. Because you've got free will. But do you want to keep choosing that? Really? Everybody's got free will, so many more people could be in prison if they executed what you're telling them to. Why would they be in prison? How can feeling your causal emotion be illegal? Um, um, wicked thoughts, wicked emotions. Yeah, I'm not saying to act upon them. I'm saying to feel. Did I ever say to act upon them? No. In fact, I've said quite the opposite, haven't I? Don't act upon them. I don't want you all to become murderers just because you're angry. <laughs> <laughs> right? So it's when you act upon them that you cause damage to others, right? But, but it's not only when you act upon them, that, and this is what I'm saying, it's when you refuse to feel them from that moment you are causing damage to others, whether you think you are or not. But aren't those so-called negative emotions like murder and all those sort of things, isn't there still something underneath that? Yes, totally. Yeah. totally. So, yeah. if you're actually feeling your causal, you wouldn't end up in jail. Exactly. You know, I want to murder that person, but I'm really feeling it. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Mm. Exactly. So acknowledging and, ex and then accepting that feeling is not enough. Do you need to experience it? And um, yeah, people say I acknowledge the feeling. Then <laughs> second thing is I accept the feeling, and then they say that's enough. Don't need to go to the third, which is to experience <laughs> the feeling. The truth is that it's only this that will release it. Mm. 